It will be a genuine floating city, a cruise ship with condos that people can buy for up to $26 million. A group of New Mexico investors are behind it. But now their Albuquerque law firm is being sued by a man who claims the project is his dream, but he's been forced out. News 13's Katie Kim is in the Newsplex. Dick, the ship is called the Utopia, but one man claims it was originally called the Orphalis, and it was his idea. Now he's suing a prominent Albuquerque law firm for stealing it. From running with the bulls in Spain to stargazing at the Cannes Film Festival in France and ringing in the new year in Australia, passengers aboard the Utopia are promised a front row seat year round to the biggest events on earth. You have an ocean front property all over the world. In every country. That's the cruise ship captain in an interview last year. The ship offers condos that run from 3 million bucks to 26 mil, as well as hotel rooms. Utopia is marketed as a paradise on the high seas. But it's run ashore in a bitter legal battle centered right here in Albuquerque. It was a complete dream. According to Los Angeles businessman Donald Allen, before Utopia, it was the Orphalese, a project he says he poured his life into. Allen says about six years ago, a group of New Mexico investors agreed to front millions of dollars to help market the Orphalese. Albuquerque based Rhodey Law Firm was chosen to draft the legal papers. That's when Allen says he was suddenly thrown overboard. I was kicked out of the project as soon as I, you know, as soon as the contracts were, were altered. The ship's name changed soon after, and Allen says Rhodey Law Firm even admitted to forging his name on contracts. The attorneys had, in fact, altered the documents and put my signature block on that altered set of documents. Now Allen, who still owns stock in Utopia, is suing the law firm for fraud, demanding enough money to finance a quarter of his dream. He's asking for $240 million. We contacted the Rhodey Law Firm and those New Mexico investors. They didn't get back to us. Back to you. All right, Katie, this is more than a dream. The ship is currently being built in Korea, and it should hit the high seas sometime next year.